What's up everyone? Back with another video. I know it's been a little while, but I'm having a crazy couple weeks. Um, on this video, I got a big mail day to show off um, over the past few weeks. Um, I've had a lot, of, a lot of new cards come in, a lot of new singles. Um, not a lot of good um, new wax out there right now, so um, just waiting on some of the, the good uh, Chrome products to come back for basketball and football, baseball season wind down. Um, I figured it was a, a good time to um, do another part of the hobby. I like um, collecting sim singles. Um, I'll start off with this pile right here. Um, so this is pretty much just random, random things I picked up. Um, oh, so this is a pretty good one to start off. Um, it's a nice Grady Dick um, Kansas color match um, out of the new Prism product. Numbered out of 99, so that's pretty solid. Um, I believe I got this for um, not that much. It wasn't, it wasn't more than 20 bucks, so I'll take that. Um, hasn't gone too crazy this year, but I think he's got good potential on a Raptors team that um, definitely will be willing to give him minutes, especially in the coming years. Up next, oh, we got our, I got a few Pritchards, um, bought him, I think right before the first, first game of the season. Um, he's been decent. I thought he would take a leap this year, maybe, um, become like the seventh man off the bench behind Horford, but, um, really hasn't been too impressive. Let's see, more playing time, we'll get used to it, um. Let's see if this is the, another another Pritchard, but that green optic was pretty nice. There's a select retail court side. So nothing crazy, but I feel like I just wanted to add some somewhere. I don't really have many Pritchard cards um, behind here. Oh, this chat finally came in that earlier uh, mosaic video um, where I did the the singles versus retail wax comparison. And this was, uh, waited on that for a while, but it's a nice card. He's pretty, doing pretty well this year. So, um, and assuming you can hear the classical music, I just got a puppy the other weekend. So, um, keep some calm. That's definitely been a whirlwind. Next card up, another Pritchard. I think this is a... Okay, it's just a concourse, but it's a rookie prism. So and these are all like maybe dollar cards. That green optic was a little few few bucks, but good deal. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a good one. Zay Flowers, BC Eagles. Um, watched him play in person a few times. He was definitely best uh, best wide receiver I've seen play for BC in a long time. And that's the snake skin, so that's very nice. Um, so I have a small collection of him as well, just in his BC uniform. Our last, just a random opening. This Paul Pierce, um, very nice. Packaged strangely, this ginormous top loader, but um, apparently didn't want to use the normal size. But I'll take it, I could probably use it for one of my thicker cards, but this is one of the clear proof upper deck. Can't tell if those scratches are from the from the card or not, but it's 2003. So, um, so that's just for the random cards. Um, as you see to the right here, got another stack, and worked on putting a, my first um, set together just off buying singles. And it's the gold team. Um, I think it's 2009-2010 certified small checklist. So um, I saw, I think I saw um, a Paul Pierce in this um, and looked at the checklist, pretty small, all players that, uh, this is kind of my, um, I was a little older, but um, this was around where the, the Celtics were at their peak, so. I was really into basketball at this time. See, they're all out of 500. Um, and it's a pretty cool set. We'll go through 
through who I've got here. Got a Darren Williams right there. And, oh yeah, there's a few cards in here. So luckily some of these uh, sellers were selling multiple of these. Um, made it a little bit easier to put together the set. And so we got Darren Williams right there. And that is, yeah, 500 again. We got Danny Granger is probably the the least important player in here. Still a pretty decent player, 500. And then we got Dwight, this is pro prime Dwight here on the Magic, 301 out of 500. He was, he was fun to play back in the day, obviously. He's going through some issues now, but I don't think that takes away from, I'll just take this out. I've had these all, they all came in at different times over the past few weeks, so I've been keeping them in my closet. See the next card here. That's a good one. So Mello still on the Nuggets. So that's why I just think it's such a cool, cool time basketball. It's probably prime Mello as well. Right before we went to the Knicks. There's lucky number 444. Next up here. That's D Wade on the Heat. Also probably at the end of his prime, but. Um, still very good at this time. Another 1-1-1, so it's good luck as well. Next up, we got a way more protected one. And we got two of them here. So, try to get this tape off. So, the reason why I started, I saw this Pierce um, gold team. I was just looking through some Pierce cards. It was three three bucks, not a bad deal. I just thought it looked nice. It's a number Pierce from probably the time I watched him most a year. Got KD on the Thunder, very nice, a young KD. Um, sadly, I'm still missing one card, but um, here's the second to last card. And it's a LeBron. This one wasn't as cheap as the others. It's unfortunately a little dinged up, but that's okay. Um, putting the set together, um, a Cavs numbered LeBron James. I think that's pretty cool to have in my collection. And the last one is a Kobe Bryant um, that I'm waiting on, but um, I believe it's a 15 card set um, or maybe even yeah, it might actually be a 10 card set. 10 card set. So with all very, very good players um, on like their signature teams, in my opinion, LeBron on the Cavs, Katie on the Thunder, Pierce on the Celtics. So all in their, all in their prime, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's that. Next. I got an upper deck kick. Um, let's see what we got first here. Oh yeah, so Masterpieces was a, um, I think first and brought, brought in by baseball in 2007 as an actual um, base set. So came, this is 2008, the year after, um, but as, Sure as a rookie, I think this was only a few bucks. I thought it was pretty cool. It's kind of got like a little artist, looks like a canvas. So I really like the look of these cards. I'm gonna, there's the baseball and football sets of these are huge. So probably not gonna complete those. Probably just gonna get some players I like. Um, see this up next. Yeah, so here's football, this is 2008. Nice Tom Brady there. Um, and I might look at these a little closer, see if I want to send send any off to PSA. Should probably just take these out. No need to be in this mail anymore. Um, but yeah, no no need to be. Um, if I send them off to PSA, some of them try to get them centered, but I've got to take a closer look. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. So the basketball. Upper Deck Masterpieces. This is from 
also 09 2010. Um, but this was an insert set in um, just the, the regular upper deck set. Um, so but much um, smaller checklist, still a pretty decent sized checklist, but a lot of good cool players on the checklist. So I think I'm gonna try to make a full set of that. Um, that's my next project, but it is pricey. Let's see, next up, look at that. LeBron in his Cavs jer jersey. I can't tell this, the centering obviously doesn't look great, but um, on the back it looks okay. So I don't know if that means anything, but this looks like it's in pretty decent condition. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got here. And there's a Jordan. So there's another Jordan in this set. Um, so it's pretty expensive, but I think it's pretty cool to have a, a cool insert of Jordan since he's not in products anymore. But I just think it looks really, really nice on this canvas. Um, and I did, they're kind of hard to find. I did find um, some packs. I don't know if they're a blaster or what for baseball, but I figured this might help me put together, put together a set um, if I want to go for it. Give me a jump start. This is packaged very, very strangely. Um, so I got this off eBay, I think 30 bucks or so. I don't think for football, um, it's like 15 bucks a pack. It's not, not as worth it um, where it's such a huge checklist and just not super interested in, in paying that much just for a few cards, but rather just buy cards since this is 30 bucks per pack we got seven packs here so not a bad deal um four cards per pack 28 cards total so 120 looks like in the set um i might do another video opening these um just so this isn't too long um but but yeah that's what i've been working on um yeah i think i'm really gonna go after this uh basketball set so stay tuned i'll try to um keep putting out videos but when i have the time but hope you enjoyed watching this non-rip but just wanted to show off some some of my additions to my collection thanks for watching catch you all later